Before I begin my sermon, I wanted to share the reason behind it. Back in November, Kathy, myself, and our friend Tracy were out doing some Christmas shopping. As I was walking along with Kathy, I was telling her about a dream that I'd had where I was preaching a sermon. Now, I don't usually remember dreams, and I certainly have never dreamt about speaking before. So it stood out to me. After I told her some of the details, she said, we have to do it. You have to share this. A month later, she was gone. When I learned about the sermon writing workshop, I knew this was my opportunity. The sermon you're going to hear from me today is the sermon that I shared with Kathy, and this is in honor of her. Have you ever heard the expression that blank is someone's middle name? Football is his middle name. Music is her middle name. What does it mean when we hear that? Usually, it tells us that the person is talented at that activity, or maybe very passionate about whatever it is, or perhaps that they just really embody the concept of whatever it is. Think about the people in your life. What would you say their middle names are? I'll let you in on a secret. My middle name is Joy, literally. My legal given name is Brittany Joy Bennett. Joy happens to also be my sister's middle name, Brittany Joy and Barbara Joy. I asked my mom once why she chose Joy for my middle name. It's not a family name, no one else has it, and it's not an especially common middle name, so what prompted her to choose that? She said, oh, well, you were my firstborn, my first true joy. Aww. Then I asked, well, what made her decide to also use that for Barbie? Expecting a similarly heartwarming response. And she said, well, I was tired. Now, in her defense, my sister and I are only 11 months apart, so I think that's a pretty fair reason. Have you ever met someone who you'd say that joy is their middle name? Someone who walks into a room and just brings light and happiness? Someone that you just can't help but smile when they're around? When you encounter someone like that, do you find yourself asking, how do you do that? The answer is this. They have joy in their hearts. Well, that begs another question. How do you obtain joy in your heart? Because it seems like more often than not, our hearts are full of things like pain, grief, doubt and fear and uncertainty. What can we do to bring joy into our hearts instead? You may not realize it, but you already know the answer to that question. It's in a song that we sing at least once a year. A little hymn that might ring a bell. It goes like this. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. Did you catch it? The instructions are right there. Let every heart prepare him room. The way to have joy in our hearts is to allow God into our hearts. When the Holy Spirit is part of us, it brings with it light and love and joy. When our hearts are full of these wonderful things, 
it doesn't leave much room for the not so wonderful things to creep in. Brothers and sisters, I challenge you, open your heart to God. Randomly sing joy to the world in the middle of the summertime to confuse your friends and family. And see what it feels like to live like joy is your middle name. <laughs>